Well, hello, ladies. My name is Beryl Emerson Nash from Bow Nash, and we are really proud of our ironing board cover, the Iron Slide 2000. And this actually sticks to your ironing board cover, so you're not going to have any strings or elastic to wiggle and work loose. It won't slip and slide all over the place. Fusibles and starches, it's resistant to, and you'll find it very difficult to burn. Well, let's show you how to fit the Iron Slide 2000. It couldn't be any quicker or easier. Now, it comes initially with a piece of foam padding, so you've got everything that you need. And it comes in a rectangle. And what you're going to do is actually cut it so it's the size and shape of just the top of your board. And then a little piece of scotch tape in a couple of sections I'll just hold it in place for you while we're going to stick the cover itself over the top. Now the cover itself, again, is the rectangle shape. I'm working here on a regular ironing board. Normally they're 54 inches long by anywhere from 13 to 16 inches wide. So this is the size that will actually fit those. We also have a larger size though, so any of you that have the big boards, the extra wide European type, we do have a size that is 29 inches wide by 65 inches long that will fit any board you care to mention. But let me show you with the regular size how it works. We're going to peel the backing paper away just a couple of inches. It's a bit like putting contact paper on your kitchen shelves and I'm sure you've all done that at some time or other. Now we're going to start at the square end and we just leave enough to kind of tuck underneath and then we're going to peel the backing paper away all the way down to the other end. And what we're going to ask you to do is just smooth it as you go. Now don't worry about any of these wrinkles ladies because these are all going to disappear as we fit this to the board. Before we start tucking it underneath, I'm going to give you a little tip. Use a little craft knife, because if you use scissors, this is sticky and they might get a bit stuck together. So use a craft knife just to mitre round those little corners, just so you can give yourself a nice, tight, secure fit. So that when you're going to tuck it around there, it makes your life a little bit easier, because we're going to tuck it underneath, pulling it tight as we go, and overlapping all of those little mitered edges. Now you can see that gives you a lovely, tight, secure fit all the way around that edge of the board. And then we're just going to head our way all the way along so we can actually tuck that underneath. And again, when we come to the toe, we're going to mitre those edges also. Now here we are at the front of the board, and of course I've got some extra stuff I don't really need, so I'm just going to cut that away just so I can leave enough to tuck underneath. And again, remember when we did the back, where we just mitered a little bit so we could get a nice, tight, secure fit all the way around there? The same thing applies, and again at the sides, we just go around and tuck it underneath. Now, that is so quick. So simple, it's really easy enough for anybody to do it. And now you're going to have a perfect ironing surface that will never ever slip or slide or move. It just gives you an absolutely fabulous fit. Remember I told you not to worry about any wrinkles that might be left behind. Well, all you have to do is run the iron over there and those wrinkles will miraculously disappear so it gives you a perfect ironing surface. Now you may be wondering a little bit about the iron shoe here. Well, that's made of fiberglass impregnated with Teflon, and I can tell you a little bit about that later, but I just want to finish telling you about the benefits of the ironing board cover. The ironing board cover is made of Luminex, and Luminex is resistant to things sticking to it. Now, if you were working with your fusibles, starches, interfacings, all those things that leave a sticky residue, watch this. This is actually a plastic bag, and you know what you mess you can make by trying to melt that 
to your cover at home. Not only have you ruined your cover, you would have ruined the sole plate of the iron also. But because I'm wearing the iron shoe on my iron, I know that nothing is going to stick to the iron itself. And where we've actually melted, it'll just simply peel away. And where it's melted to the surface of my board, I'm actually going to be able to pick that off there. So the cover will last you so much longer. Now you saw how easy it was to put on the board. You saw how effective it was. It comes with full instructions and full guarantee. And the good news is you can buy them in lots of your specialised sewing and quilting stores. Just look for the Bonash logo. And if you want to buy it right now, well, just go and click the order button below.